it going? This is your general and love oracle tarot reading for May 2016. First, I'd like to apologize for being five days late. Uh, the move was smooth at first and then it got extremely hectic. And excuse my uh, mess, if you can see it in this room here, but it's... Um, Totally not together yet. Anyways, again, I am sorry for being five days late. Uh, five days into the month of May. Uh, May is probably not going to be a big difference. But again, um, I know some of you were expecting this to be up by May 1st. Anyways, uh, one of the cards that fell out here was uh, Three of Water. And this is good news. So it looks like even though for some of you the month started out with a bit of turbulence, I'm feeling for some of you Aries, not all of you. Uh, and uh, But what's coming is a celebration. I'm feeling uh, what's coming here in messages is of some of you are actually planning a wedding. And some of you are either graduating uh, college or maybe you have relatives or even your children who are graduating. And also I'm feeling that there are going to be some May babies. Um, some of you may also be hearing some news that, uh, good news that you're pregnant. Okay. The next card here is the world and... Uh, this is just that I feel the universe is congratulating you on a job well done. Uh, the world card, I love the world card. You know, it, it means contentment, joy, and, you know, things to be grateful for. And even if you're in a, a tough place right now, the more you're grateful, the more the universe sends you gifts to be grateful about so remember that uh i feel too aries that uh some of you i'm getting are changing careers or changing uh jobs maybe job positions getting a promotion uh, that's another reason i feel that you can be celebrating uh sometime in may or you may hear news about it and um Maybe it's not going to come to fruition until June. Uh, I, I'm getting that some of you may have gotten this information. Uh, others may not receive this information until you move towards um, the month of, um, not the month, the uh, middle of May. And the next card here is the Queen of Earth. And basically this card means... Um, Maybe it's Mother's Day or maybe it's, uh, again, related to the celebration here where you're spending time with family or friends um, and uh, maybe it's a little bit turbulent, like for some of you who are not on great terms with family or friends. Um, and also this could be even an ex. Uh, this is what's coming to me. Um, but... Also, some of you are working way too much, you know, and I feel that you need to make time for your loved ones, make time for them, spend some time with them. You know, this this for some uh, is not an easy month, you know, with five retrograde planets and with Mercury retrograde, there's some of you may have already received um, maybe some information about delays, maybe something you were counting on. Uh, hasn't come through uh, but sometimes that can be deceiving in other words you may hear news that um, you know that's got something to do with delay or maybe even a rejection but when you get into June you know uh, it's not a June reading but it's still I go with the vibrations when you get into June or maybe towards the end of May it may completely turn around and something that you were looking forward to didn't come through and all of a sudden it comes through okay so moving on to 
five of fire, okay? Um, this card, hmm. you know, when I, when I pick up the queen of earth and the five of fire together, what I'm getting here, it, remember when I was talking about maybe there are some challenges, uh, maybe you're not in good terms with family or friends or even an ex, um, and you know, maybe you're going to a graduation that involves your children. Uh, I'm feeling that there could be a fire up. <laughs> I mean, I'm feeling that there could be an actual fight or some conflict that just gets out of hand. And, you know, with Mars being retrograde in um, Scorpio at this time, it can really flare tempers. So what I'm getting from Spirit is try to just float through it. And, um, you know, with Mercury being retrograde, uh, communication be, can be off. You know, mis misunderstandings. And so that's why I'm getting from Spirit. Just to, you know, stay calm as much as you can. And just... Um, you know, go with the flow right now. Don't lose tempers. Don't react. Just go with the flow. Okay. So the next card is Knight of Water. Um, this is a really good card. Okay. What I'm picking up here are new relationships. I, I'm, you know, here I'm going to pick up the Three of Water that I started the reading with and the Knight of Water. And I talked about weddings. It talks about graduations. You know, I talked about uh, birth. With this card here, these two together, uh, this speaks about meeting someone that you fall in love with, okay? Perhaps this is the man you may already know. And you're making wedding plans with him or her. Okay, this could be a woman too. And... Um, I think right now there, there are emotions... That may be uh, a little bit off balance. You know, maybe you're overwhelmed with news. Maybe you're overwhelmed um, just putting together the, the, the wedding. Or it, it could even be just overwhelmed about having a baby. Or maybe you already had a baby. Okay. And this month you just feel overwhelmed being a mother. Okay, so I'm just listening here to see what other messages I'm getting here with just the cards I've laid out. Yeah, I keep getting a vision of an ex, okay, that either attends a graduation or some type of party or event. I'm getting children that are involved, and this turns out to be an argument, okay? And again, I'm getting the message that try to avoid arguing, try to avoid reacting, and just, um, you know, try to move past this energy for right now, because the energy can be feisty. I do feel that uh, some of the energy is calming down, but it's still pretty feisty out there okay the next card here I'm getting is the wheel okay this is this is where I said I feel that there's a career change or uh, you know again you know planning to get married having a baby but this is an awesome card uh, it, it's a card that represents positive change okay and um, you know, something, remember when I was talking about a delay or maybe a rejection? Again, this is where suddenly things move forward and change. And what you've been, what, what has been a delay or a rejection or even, <coughs> excuse me, a complicated situation turns around. Like the wheel makes a 180 degree turnaround and then all of a sudden... Everything turns out as you like, or everything turns out in a positive way. 
The next card is the Nine of Air. Okay. Um, what I'm getting here is there's some restlessness going on here. So perhaps there are things on your mind or maybe it could be about finance. It could be about love. But I'm, but I'm feeling, uh, or it could even be about health or somebody you're worried about or even worried about yourself. Okay, and that's this is what this um, card means. And it's what I'm getting is you just need to take a rest from thinking so much. You know, a rest from worrying. You know, maybe you could say to yourself, I'm not going to worry about it today. And then when the next day comes, I'm not going to worry about it today. So that there can be some space. It doesn't mean the problem goes away. But what it does is it takes you out of that chitter-chatter or that complicated mind, complicated thinking, into a uh, more of a presence to where you can, um, you know, clear the air. Because this is nine of air. Clear the air of maybe endings. Clear the air of financial stress. Clear the air of, of just self-doubting. That's what I'm getting with this card. The next one is the Nine of Fire. <coughs> and this card is resonating with the other cards by saying here that you shouldn't give up. Okay? Just keep moving forward. Don't give up because the wheel is going to turn in your favor. Um, you know, I'm picking up like perhaps you had an idea or maybe you wrote something. Or perhaps you created something. You know, created something, whether it's writing or, um, you know, something in business or maybe it's an invention. So, you know, it's something that you've created. But I feel that someone hasn't been honest around you. And, or maybe this is somebody you're dealing with in business who hasn't been honest. And suddenly, um, it's like... You have to protect what you've created. So if you're a writer, you've wrote something, make sure you have a copyright on your material. Same thing if you've invented something. Or perhaps this is a proposal, you know, for business. And maybe you shared the idea with someone that you can't trust, unfortunately. Uh, this is what this card represents. And so with Mercury, again, being retrograde, this is something you want to be careful about because what you've been working on can suddenly backfire and also somebody can steal your idea. So it's important to copyright your creation. Um, also, too, I was talking about low self-esteem. This card, too, can represent, you know, someone who wants to move forward on the ladder, you know, to, to higher ground, but you don't feel good about yourself or you have lack of faith in yourself, and that's what this card means, okay, and but you shouldn't. You're a very creative person. Of course, you're a beautiful soul, and, uh, you know, believe in yourself. You've got something good here. The next card is the Page of Fire, and what this card means um, is a beginning of an endeavor, you know, um, or maybe you hear something that sounds good to you and you, you want to begin it. Uh, this also can do, do with, with hearing about someone or meeting someone for the first time and, and so you get excited about it because you feel good, the chemistry is there and you want to go forward with this uh, relationship. And I'm getting really good vibes that that's what you should do. Okay? Be original. Okay? And be genuine with your emotions. Uh, I'm also getting with this card, too, that maybe some of you uh, will meet someone or are already in a conversation with someone about maybe starting up a new business. Uh, this could be you as a sole proprietor, or it could be going into partnership with someone. It all looks good. It all looks good. King of Water. Trustworthy. Okay? 
What I'm getting here is open your heart. Open your heart and mind uh, to, you know, people who want to help you, friends that want to be there, okay? Maybe there's something that um, happened, you know, maybe there was a loss of some kind and you, maybe you're in the state of mourning, some of you Aries, and perhaps, um, you know, you're kind of turning everybody away because you feel down and what Spirit is saying is open the doors and let people help you. Okay, there are people out there around you, people that you know that are supportive. I'm also getting that some of you are really warm hearted people, like I'm getting animals. Animals came in, like perhaps maybe you want to help a rescue group or maybe you want to give, um, you know, your time to foster animals or work some type of event for example, to raise money uh, for animals. And this also can be for any organization. It can be for uh, veterans. It can be uh, any type of disability. I'm getting children too, like maybe this is cancer for, you know, for children and, um, or di children who are disabled. But I feel that some of you are doing, are going to be doing some charity work to really help um just to, to donate your time and and help others, which is I think is very beautiful. Uh, the next card is the sun, okay? And this is, you know, Aries, you've got some great cards here. These cards are wonderful. I mean, there's a lot of good news coming your way. Uh, like I said, some of you may uh, have received rejection or um, delays, and some of you may have not, but either way it goes, uh, I don't feel for the ones the ones who have already received good news, I don't feel that it's going to turn around and become bad news. I, what I feel, though, is the ones who have received delay or rejections, all of a sudden, it's going to turn out totally awesome for you. And the sun card here is just a happy outcome, okay? Uh, back onto business, brilliant ideas brilliant creativity okay and and again it's a card that's saying have confidence in yourself archangel uriel is is on this card and archangel uriel is an awesome angel a wonderful angel to manifest good brilliant creative ideas or concepts okay and the next card here is the Eight of Fire. Um, this card, this card means that, okay, what I'm getting in, in May is I'm moving towards the middle of May to the end of May. Now, this could come in sooner, but I'm really focused on those last two weeks of May. <clears throat> Things are going to pick up really quick and rapidly. And again, we're back on a confirmation of delays are over okay things are going to turn around in your favor and here you're going to have to hold on because what I feel is everything's going to come in as a rush so it's going to be boom one thing after another happening for the better uh, for yourself you know um, so this is this is really good excellent way to end this general reading I am going to now I've already shuffled and what fell out is oops, sorry what fell out is the flirt card okay when I'm picking up with this flirt card is for some of you Aries who who are just interested in the um, in a mate uh, or a possible mate is I'm getting a lot of flirting a lot of communication going on here but yet there's still some delays and some unsurety, okay? And we're let me just go ahead um, and see what else is in store here so that I can see actually, ooh, well, let me just finish the flirting vibe here. <laughs> uh, I'm getting that this is related to a new love. And um, I'm really getting that this relationship was, is going to be good. Good relationship. Uh, it's not related to this card. 
Okay, I've got another message for this card. But for the ones who are meeting people, um, you know, meeting a mate, uh, new love, that's what I'm getting. New relationships coming about. And I'm getting that, you know, patience. Go slow right now. Uh, but as time moves on, this relationship gets more intense. Okay? And I'm, I'm just feeling that the two of you are going to really fall in love. And, um, you know, this relationship is going to keep growing till it leads to a commitment or, or a marriage. Now, here, what I'm getting with the separation here now, I'm... I'm what I'm getting here, because Spirit's talking really fast. Hold on a second. So we got to slow down. Okay. What I'm getting here is somebody was busted. <laughs> okay. I'm getting that somebody was caught um, flirting or perhaps even being unfaithful in a relationship. And I feel that this relationship is now in the separation stage. <laughs> so, um, I'm feeling that this is probably a newer relationship. It could be anywhere from three months to a year. But I'm also getting a marriage. A marriage that Aries... Aries somewhere is involved. Either your mate's in Aries or you're in Aries or it's your rising, your moon. Either way it goes. Um, uh, this I feel this marriage has been kind of growing apart for quite some time anyways. And I feel now it's just kind of separated. And you're at your uh, end wits with this. Um, or the other person is. And so right now... Uh, I'm just getting a separation with this. I'm also feeling, coming back to this new relationship, that some of you may have been in a relationship before that was not a good relationship. At least it wasn't at the end. Okay. A relationship can't be all bad and it can't be all good. There's always a duality to things. So there may be just something, you know, as you got towards the end, it got bitter. But what I'm getting from spirit is it's safe for you to love again. Okay. Don't bring your past in this relationship because this relationship is a very true to be soulmate relationship. True, beautiful love. Okay, don't bring your past into it. You know, give it time too. Don't rush the relationship. Just get to know each other. You know, spend time to get to know each other. Now moving on here to this to these relationships. It's not just one. This is not just for one Aries. This is for many. It might not resonate with all of you, but it's going to resonate with some of you. And for the month of May, the separation is going to continue. But I, I feel the relationship that's separated, I feel for some of you, Aries, that your mates or maybe it's yourself want uh, to be forgiven. And, um, for some of you, I'm getting that the person is a trickster, okay? It's just not telling you the truth. Use your intuition, okay? Um, certain things that cause the separation has been going on for quite some time. So, use your intuition. <coughs> Forgive the person. To set yourself free. But be careful how you forgive the person as far as getting back together with them. Because I'm not feeling that they've changed. But I also feel that for some of you other Aries who had a sudden separation or have been separated for you know, maybe just recently. 
going back from February to April. There is an opportunity for a reunion between the two of you. And think about it seriously, but don't overthink it. Follow your heart. Okay, there are people who do make mistakes, okay, uh, for whatever they needed to experience. Although I don't really believe in mistakes. Things happen for reasons, but a lot of people believe in mistakes. So however you want to look at this, um, whatever the experience was, I feel that the person is genuine and wants to be forgiven, wants peace with you, okay? So I'm also getting a relationship here that's struggling financially. Ugh. Mm. Maybe this this mate doesn't want to work or is having a, a hard time finding employment. But I'm also feeling that somebody's family is sticking their nose in their business that doesn't belong there and just causing more headaches uh, with this relationship. Because I feel that I feel that there's a lot of passion in this relationship, but there's, it's struggling to balance because of there's, I'm feeling a money struggle here. And even though money has nothing to do with love, it's still part of, uh, you know, you got to have money to survive. And I feel that maybe you or your mate is just struggling now and it's putting pressure on the relationship because one of you feels uh, that you're doing everything. And the other person isn't doing anything or can't provide. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And so, uh, well, you know, we have many soulmates. And I'm not getting, um, yeah, I'm getting, well, I already know that the new love is a soulmate here, but I'm getting, being pulled towards the separation again. That, you know, I know that this is your soulmate, obviously, or you wouldn't be together with him or, or her, uh, or be married and or whatever the situation is that your relationship is, but uh, I just feel, <laughs> I just feel for some of you, you feel like it's the end of the world, okay? Because this is a soulmate and you feel like, oh my God, when am I going to meet another soulmate? Uh, but you love her or him and um, perhaps you've just lost confidence or faith in everything right now. And you just feel completely depressed and completely at loss in regards to your love. And uh, just hang in there. You'll know what to do. Uh, things may get better as we approach the end of May. Okay, so I've already shuffled this deck. And this is my Whispers of Love deck. And the card here is about showing your love, demonstrating love. I, I feel that for some of you Aries who are confused or at the crossroads right now, is it's not just about you or it's not just about your mate. It's about finding out what's important to you regarding love and it's also finding out what is important to the people around you the people around you that you love and so spirit is saying don't feel resentment don't be angry act on the love become the love regardless it doesn't matter what other people are. What matters 
is what's happening within you. Don't close out your love, the ones who are going through a hard time right now. And for the ones who are meeting new love or rekindling or even who have already been in a relationship and taking it to the next level, open your heart and just be loved. Let love flow. The more you start worrying about what your mate's doing, the more you start feeling that you can't trust, bringing in perhaps negative or bad experiences you had in the past, you're only going to draw that energy back in and so it's going to kick off in the next relationship. If you're in a relationship right now and you see a, repat a pattern of the past, that's your wake-up call then. Then you have to review this relationship and you have to... Uh, you know, feel it out if this is going to work for you in the future because you can't change anyone. Okay? Uh, they have to change themselves and some people just can't do it. Some people can't heal fully. Some people can't wake up completely. So you need to look at the situation clearly. And perhaps you might not see it clearly until you move towards move through this month and towards towards the end of the month okay because right now there's a lot of confusement going on and a lot of kind of tricky energy as I call it and it doesn't always seem what it is okay I'm grateful to all of you for uh, tuning into my videos and subscribing and I'm just want to let you know that if you want a personal reading with me, you can by going to www.transformationandempowerment.com. It's all spelled out. It's also listed below this video. And uh, hang in there, Aries. You know, some of you who are having a tough time, hang in there. I wish you all much love and blessings. Have a great May.